What's up? Figured I'd make another video, I guess. I don't know what I'll call this. Like words with dirty or something. I don't know. You want some of my thoughts? Let me hear what I think. <laughs> I know you do, Dan, motherfucker. <laughs> well, let's talk about... Let's talk about relationships. That's a good one, right? <laughs> Let's talk about life. Let's talk about the way people are nowadays. Let's talk about how there aren't really many good people left in this fucking crazy ass world. Let's talk about how people are fucking insane. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe I'm like old dude now or something. I don't know. The shit that I used to think was cool just ain't cool anymore, man. Fucking bunch of chicks and and running around doing shit. That shit just ain't cool to me anymore. I mean, it's all right. But isn't there a time when you gotta just grow up and get married and have kids and shit? Or do you just run around and fuck people all your life? I don't know. That shit ain't for me anymore, man. I'm tired of that shit. And I'll tell you what. I'm trying to find a wife in a world full of whores. That's all there is out there anymore. You got your fakes, your liars, your cheaters, and then you're just all out whores. And if you want me to explain that, then you get your fake people. They're the ones that'll tell you what you want to hear. And they won't be real the whole entire time. And then one day you'll be like, oh, you were fake. It was all a lie. And then you got your liars. Well, those are just people that just love to lie. They're gonna lie to you about every fucking thing they do. And that's just what they do. I don't know if they're used to it. I don't know if they enjoy doing it. Maybe they just like fucking with people. That's just how it is. I don't know. I hate liars. I would never lie. I keep it real. Look how real I keep it. I put my shit on videotape and put it on fucking YouTube. I don't lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. You ask me a question, I'm probably gonna tell you straightforward. I'm sorry. Your kid's fucking ugly. If I had a baby like that, I'd be really disappointed with my life. <laughs> Just keeping it real, sorry. I don't know, it's pretty fucked up. But, you know, be honest, that's cool. Liars don't go nowhere, they don't get nowhere. The fuck you gonna lie for anyway? You gonna trap yourself up in a bunch of lies? Gonna get all caught up in, in all your lies, trying to keep them straight? It's too much work, man. Just tell the fucking truth and be honest. What's it gonna hurt? If you care about the person, you're not gonna lie to them in the first place. You're gonna be honest with them and then you're gonna, you know, maybe go your separate ways or figure the shit out and fix it. I don't know. Keep it real. And then what? We got cheaters, you know, cheaters. They're just fucked up people. And honestly, I think that a lot of people are just naturally becoming cheaters. I think a lot of people have been fucked over so much that they just give up and they just fuck it. Just fuck around on everybody they're ever with and never actually be in a real committed relationship, which is a major thing. I mean, if you're gonna be with somebody and you wanna be with somebody, you don't fuck other people. It's kinda like common knowledge. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to kiss you after you've been sucking some dude's dick. That's just not cool. That's not cool, man. That's that's not cool, man. And the cheaters, man, they'll, they'll just do it again and again. They have no morals. They have no concern. It's You gotta think of it this way. If somebody can fuck around on you and then to your face continue to tell you that they love you, they don't give a shit about you. And they're gonna keep doing it. Don't be so dumb. If they cared, they would have never done it in the first place. And that's all there is to say about it. You don't accidentally fuck someone else. That shit happens. You don't accidentally send some dude a picture of your tits. That shit... That shit doesn't just happen. That's... And it's not right. It's... I'm not speaking from my own personal experience, I'm speaking from my knowledge of the world. I've seen a lot of shit, and I know a lot of crazy fucking people, east to west. And what's, what's the other one? Whores. 
Well, whores are just general people. These are people that will never want to be in a committed relationship. Maybe it's because they've been hurt so bad so many times that they've given up. I don't know. I like to say that that could be a reason because I wouldn't imagine that anybody would naturally want to just be a whore. I just don't think that's, that's something that people would really want to be. I, you know, you get asked what you want to be in school when you grow up and you say, I want to be a whore. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't know. Whores are just nasty, nasty people, man. These girls will fuck everybody. And then they'll fuck you. And they're cool with it. And I mean, yeah, that's cool. Everybody needs a sperm rag, a cum rag, or a cum dumpster, whatever you want to call them. But either way, they're trash. And they're disgusting. I personally am disgusted with whores. I myself was a whore at one time. I'll admit that. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, well, there is, but at least I decided not to be a whore anymore. I don't know. It's kind of grimy. Girls don't get it. Our guys can fuck as many people as we want. We can have sex with whoever we want, and unless we get a disease, our dick isn't going to fall off. Nothing's going to happen to it. It's going to be the same dick that it's always been. But you girls need to take care of your vaginas. You don't understand. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard for you. Because if you're expected to give it up to every dude that you want to be with, and then if you don't, that dude might not want to be with you. But if you think about it, if that dude doesn't want to be with you because you ain't putting out, well, maybe that dude isn't the right dude. Maybe he just wants some pussy. And you got to think about the long-term deal of your vagina that shit's gonna get fucked up and it's gonna look pretty grimy and no matter what you do it's gonna look pretty grimy you don't want it to look like that trust me no one's ever gonna want that you get to this point where your vagina will get so bad that as soon as a guy sees it he's gonna know exactly what it's for a cum dumpster He's gonna squirt and bounce. And if that's cool with you, if that's what you want, and you don't care about your own body or your own personal health or any of that shit, well then go ahead and be a whore. And get your shit all blown out. And it'll go from pink to purple. And you can ride it out all day long. <laughs> you know, that can be your fucking job. Do whatever you wanna do. I tell you what I think is right. And you can accept it. Or you can tell me to kill myself. Either way, I'm still going to put this shit up here. I'm still going to tell you how it is, and I'm still going to keep it real. That's just kind of how you got to do it. I don't know. This has been a lesson from Dirty. Either you liked it, or you didn't. Kill yourself. <laughs>